Hey guys, I just got in a couple packages and I thought that I would share me uh, opening them with you. So the first one is from Brambleberry and this one has a free item in it that I earned through their incentive program. Now, if you don't order from Brambleberry, I have a preferred fragrance oil company, but my preferred fragrance oil company doesn't sell everything that Brambleberry does. So there are some things that I get from Brambleberry that I don't get from Midwest Fragrance Company. And um, so I have signed up for an incentive program that Brambleberry has. Every time you place an order, you get some points. And uh, after a while, those add up and you can get free stuff. So I figure if I'm going to order stuff anyways, I might as well get some free stuff. So, so what you do is you put your wick, whether it's cotton or a wood wick, you stick it on there. And then the other side is a sticker as well. You peel that off and you stick it right into your vessel. And it holds the wick uh, still so you don't have to um, hold it down or whatever, anchor it in some way. Um, so that's that. These are wicks. So I'm just going to open this up. They're exactly what uh, you'd think a wick would look like. This is a big bottle. I got this for free. For being a part of their um, rewards program. So, like I said, if you order from Brambleberry and you are not a part of that rewards program, get yourself on over there. And uh, it's easy to sign up. Um, okay, this is bergamot and nectarine. I really like bergamot. It's the, the main ingredient in the tea, Earl Grey. So, if you imagine Earl Grey. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know I needed this in my life. But it's really good. One is from the Midwest Fragrance Company. They are my favorite fragrance oil company. And I started ordering from them a little over a year ago. And it's just been such a beautiful relationship. I love the heart of their company. They are real human beings. They talk like real human beings. They interact like real human beings. When somebody is not relatable, it's really hard to work with them. So this company has a beautiful heart. I love their products. They are unique. Some of the scents I've never smelled anywhere else because they have made them themselves. They're just beautiful, beautiful. Um, so I did order some wax from them. They do have wax, which I've never ordered wax from them before, but this is Golden Wax 464. It's a, I smell it. I'm using that to make some gifts. Okay, I've heard some good things about this one. It's champagne toast. And now, when I first heard this, I thought like toast, like you butter your toast, you toast it in a toaster, like bread, you know? So I'm like champagne toast, like the champagne go with toast? I, I was just confused. But then I heard, then I, you know, like a toast, like here, here, let's drink, like, anyways. So, ooh, it's good. It reminds me, oh my goodness. It reminds me of a, a Victoria's Secret scent. I don't know if this is a duplication, but it's gorgeous. It's really heavy berry, like luscious, not sweet, sickeningly sweet. It's effervescent, kind of a lemon lime type bubbly scent. Um, that one's really good. Balsam fir, I did use this one last year in my Christmas line. And yes, oh, so good such a good one like exactly a christmas tree scent like perfect perfect okay so i got this one because there is a candle from marshall's that i get and it's tobacco and vanilla i think it is or vanilla tobacco something like that but this one's pipe tobacco and i thought maybe i could blend it with a vanilla for a candle make my own and oh my goodness this brings me back to my childhood it's such a good smell. I might even make a candle just straight of this and not even add vanilla. It's very nostalgic. It's not overwhelming. It's it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This is going to make a really nice candle. Black, amber, and lavender. And I have used this one before. Oh, this is good. I've actually made candles of this before. And sometimes it's off-putting to have like a word like vanilla or lavender 
in a masculine smelling thing, but really this is a masculine smelling one. It's so good. It's really rich. The amber, um, oh, so good. I, I, I wish I had words better than so good because it's much more than that. Next one is roasted pine cone. I have not smelled this one, so this is a new one for me. Ooh, that's got a nice masculine note. It does, does smell um, piney, and there is definitely a roasted note, almost like campfire, almost like a campfire. Like if you were to put like pine boughs, like fresh pine. Okay, apple cider donut. I haven't smelled this one either. Um, I've heard good things about this one. Oh yes, this is definitely edible smelling. Like I can smell, I can like, my, I'm salivating. Like sugar, cinnamon, like donuts, directly out of the fryer, not out of the oven, out of like the oil, like dripping oil, and then you spread the cinnamon and sugar over it. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's really, that might be one of my favorites from this one. Spiced winter tea. I have smelled this and I have used this. And yes, it is good. It reminds me of a, a Christmas tea. I used to work at a uh, called little coffee shop. I was a barista for like five years. And we had um, a little gift shop and we'd sell teas and stuff. Definitely one of the favorites. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles. I have a friend who makes candles and sells them. And I have purchased from her. It smells so good. So good. Golden Poppy Candles. That's her name. Find her on Etsy. She's a beautiful, beautiful soul. You can purchase from her. Okay, Macintosh Apple. I have purchased this one as well. But I wanted for a candle. There's something so nostalgic about, like, apple. Like, it takes you back to being a little kid in, like, kindergarten, and it was snack time, and you get, like, crackers and apples and a little bag of milk. Do you remember the bags of milk where you had to, like, poke the straw in and pray that it wouldn't, like, explode in your face? Every once in a while, it would explode, and you'd feel really dumb. Um, pop peppercorn and pomander. That is a mouthful. Oh, that's good. Reminds me of tangerines. Well, I guess a pomander is a citrus fruit that you put cloves into. But what's a peppercorn? Peppercorn's peppercorn. I don't know if I smell peppercorn. I do smell citrus and I do smell clove. It's really, really good. It's really good. It smells like a red berry, too. I don't know. That's a good one. Okay, we're down to two. Two more left. Cedar, musk, and lavender. Again, I believe this is a really masculine one. I have used this one. Yes! really good because you don't like to think of the uh like colognes as being having floral notes but um but they do cedar musk and lavender that's exactly what it smells like it's really good that's a good one oh this one is cranberry apple marmalade and i have used this one before and it is delightful but i would really like to try it in a candle this smells like a Yankee one. It's really heavy on the cloves. It's really heavy on the cloves and the cinnamon. Very spicy, but definitely has a fruit note as well. That one's really good. I forgot how good that one was. So that's what I got, guys. And um, if you are a maker and you are looking for some fragrance oils to try, there is not one of these that was not excellent. Because usually in an order, I'm like, that one I didn't really like. I mean, I got it and I'll use it and I'll try it. Somebody's going to like it, but it's not me. I didn't have that this time. Like, I liked them all. I like them all. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you have a great day. And we'll talk again soon.